You're a dick. 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 Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything? And, oh my goodness, something more to do with politics. And if you follow me on this channel, you know I don't like politics. But this one uh, is something that I think we need to talk about. So, two Alabama city leaders resign after the mayor's homophobic comments and the mayor refuses to step down so mayor mark chambers he posted a comment on facebook about killing out social socialists baby killers and gay and transgender people all right all i gotta say is this guy is an asshat right off the i mean look at him look at this guy he looks like an asshat what a what a dick all right anyway in carbon hill alabama two leaders of a alabama city two leaders of an alabama city that's a weird sentence have resigned after their mayor posted a comment on facebook about killing out socialist baby killers and gay and transgender people haven't people learned yet in regards to social media um, and just media in general, how many times have we seen, I mean, not just in Hollywood, but in, in the political scheme where someone says something and, and it's not like something that was taken out of context. I mean, this is something as in like, really? Seriously? They say something completely stupid. I mean, you know, like, there was no margin for error. It was just flat-out uh, mean, you know, and they wind up, you know, having to resign uh, uh, as a result of that. How many times have we seen this? Hey, this is not the first politician, and he sure as heck isn't going to be the last. And how many times, um, how many examples have there been out there to where you have to be careful what you post on social media like Facebook and Twitter? And this has happened with people in Hollywood where they, we see it all the time, where they post something and then everyone, you know, starts outcrying and thumbing them down and, you know, and it winds up affecting everything they do. I mean, but this guy blatantly uh, makes a, a post. You know, it's not like it was taken out of context. This guy's just a plain asshole. <laughs> I... Oh, man. Anyway, the mayor, Mark Chambers, refused to step down and told residents of Carbon Hill that he plans to run for re-election. Well, good luck with that. Now that everyone knows you're a freaking jackass, ain't no one going to elect you unless they're jackasses. But I don't know. I'm not from Alabama, so who knows what goes on there. Uh, protesters staged a die-in and then confronted Chambers during Monday's meeting where he sat between two empty chairs. What's going on in North Korea? <laughs> Trump and Z. Is it Z? XI? I don't know. We're getting carried away here. How are you doing, man? You're my buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just pretend for the camera. Yep. I really like this guy. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Some asked just how he would like to kill them. One carried a sign saying, if you kill me, my ghost will haunt you. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I, I don't really believe in ghosts. What I do believe in is echoes of the past. So I do believe some of the stories that people have said about ghosts, but I don't think it's ghosts like, ooh, I'm coming to get you type of thing. I believe it's echoes of the past. So when people have... Uh, seeing thing of ghosts, I, I believe that is, you know, like 
for whatever reason, it's whatever happened in that place in the past, and they're just seeing that. That's what I believe. As far as a you know a ghost that walks around saying "boo," no, I don't believe that. Uh, anyway, the meeting soon ended when Chambers walked out past a gauntlet of people calling for him to resign. Chambers met privately beforehand with a small group of protesters. Resident Rousey McCollum said the mayor apologized, saying his comments shouldn't have been public. You think? <laughs> but McCollum said he shouldn't have voiced hatred at all. I agree. And it's time for him to go. I Yeah, I think so. Because... It's obvious now what kind of person this guy is. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he doesn't need to be in office. You know, it just because it's like, oh, man, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Well, you did say it. So that means somewhere in your head you really do believe this stuff. So um, we probably don't want you leading our city. So, yeah, you know, I I mean, s go ahead and say something controversial or something nasty at your workplace and see what happens. Because you can get fired for that stuff. And so should this guy. Uh, but, Mc yeah, if you can impeach the president of the United States... You should be able to move the mayor in this little one red light town. No, I read this as far as if you can impeach the president. Um, are they trying to hint at Trump again? I don't know. Uh, anyway, Chambers accepted the resignations of council members McLean Burrow and Chandler Gann without explanation. McCollum said they had expressed embarrassment over the mayor's comments. I can see that. I can see why they would want to resign. Um, but here, here are the two sides of the coin that I want to I want to talk about in regards to that. One, you don't want to work under a mayor like that. I I can see that. But on the second hand, on the other hand, would you want to just toss your career aside because of that person? You know, I, that was the kind of thing. I mean, if you're wanting to, you know, build a career in politics, would you just toss that out to the side just because of this one jerk? I mean, if he's going to go for re-election, I don't think he's going to get re-elected. So that means you'll be able to continue, you know, maybe working under someone else. So I don't know. I, I see both sides on that. I guess you had to be there. <laughs> uh, resident Savannah Miles said diversifying the council to better re represent the community would be a step in the right direction. So, now see, this scares me here, this diversifying thing. And the reason why, I don't have, it a, I don't have a problem with diversification at all, but what I do have a problem with is when they have a checklist and instead of accepting people that have the... Uh, uh, what do you, the qualifications for the job in question, they rule them out, they weed them out, and say, well, we need to have a, a black person and a Mexican and Chinese or Asian. We need to make sure we have a Jan's transgender on, you know, a transgender on, you know, a ma'am on, on the council, you know, and this, this, and that. Although there may have been like five uh, straight white dudes that or ladies whatever um that were perfectly qualified to do the job and they they could be very good people you know not not ass ass like this mayor you know very good people but yet they're passed up because because they have a checklist that they have to follow that's what i hate that's the type of diversification i hate um we're going to have a problem with race and everything else until the whole thing is dropped. Until that whole thing is dropped, we're going to have problems. We're going to have problems with that. So get rid of your checklists, get rid of your bigotry, and just treat people like people. 
if if they have qualifications, hire them. Whether no no matter what their color is, hire them. Don't go in there and say, well, we have a checklist. We have to make sure this is followed. You know, because guess what? That is still racist and that's still sexist. If you're going after just Hispanic people and excluding all the white ones, guess what? You're being racist. If you are going just for women or, or gays or transgenders, then guess what? You're, excess, you're excess, sexist. Does you know it? It works. It works both ways. So drop all the BS and treat people like people. Can we do it? I don't know, man. Probably not in my lifetime, but maybe someday we'll get there. You know, when it comes to politics, I am more, I'm more center right. Uh, but mainly more in the center because I believe there are people on the left who have good points and I believe there are people on the right that have good points. But both sides are really pissing me off. Be, uh, this guy was obviously right. Uh, I'm going to say he's probably extreme right. And both the extreme left and both the extreme right, <sighs> man, you all need to get together here in the center and talk with each other. <laughs> you know, instead of bickering, you know, out here, you need to come together and talk. Come over here to the, to, to the middle and talk. So, you, you know, this, you got your left people right here and you got your right people right here. So you need to come together and say, oh, hey, how you doing? How's your day going? Oh, it's doing just good. Well, that's great. We got some uh, things that we need to talk about. Okay, Sure. <laughs> hmm. What do you think about the weather? Oh, it's beautiful. Great. Well, let's talk about this first subject. Okay. That's what we need to do. We need to come into the middle and talk and not be off here to the side. You know, we're trying to get into the camera. Not be off here to the side where, you know, it's like, whoa. We're going to. Oh, sorry. That's the left. <laughs> We want this. We want things for free. Blah, 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 blah. Wine, wine, wine. I'm a special snowflake. <laughs> and then people on the right. You're going to do as you're told. Whether you like it or not. Well, yeah. Yeah, you know, we need to drop that stuff and come over here to the middle and actually talk. Ugh. This is why I hate politics. But anyway, I thought this was an important uh, topic to cover about, uh, to cover. So, you know, let me know what you think. I can't imagine why anyone would want to agree with this mayor. I mean, the guy's a total prick. So he's a douchebag. <laughs> he's a total douchebag. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, and if you're new here, subscribe. I would appreciate it. Um, I put video up, videos up, uh, uh, all the time, most of the time. Um, I do work uh, several different uh, jobs, plus I have a family, and uh, I have other types of videos that I work on, uh, such as my flight sim videos, uh, which is requiring a little bit of programming, so that takes some time. But I try to get something up, you know, often, you know, as much as I can. So there's there's stuff on this channel besides just this particular show. I have some creative stuff on here too. But uh, yeah, subscribe and you'll know when um, I upload a new video. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you on another rambling video. Don't be a douchebag.